All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the uh, Freedom Studios up in the Northern Office. And I tell you, what, it's been a very, very busy week. Hotter than a bejesus out here. I do have a little thing that I'm working on over here. You probably, probably saw in a video earlier I did on the new primary arms SLX scope mount. Uh, what do we want to talk about today? Memphis, Tennessee election officials in Memphis decided Tuesday to leave three gun control questions off the November ballot after the top Republican state leaders threatened to withhold tens of millions of dollars in the state fund. What I'm happy about this, okay, this is me telling you exactly what I think. Okay, these are a couple guys with some big ass balls that goes against the mainstream media, the mainstream assholes out there that want to kill our Second Amendment rights. On Monday, Tennessee's election coordinator, Mark Goins, sent a letter to Shelby County Election Commission warning that the gun control measures violated several of Tennessee's laws, making them void and ineligible to be placed on the ballot. The letter was sent hours after the House Speaker Cameron Sexton and the Senate Speaker Randy McNally issued their state funding ultimatum. I wish we had more people like this that would fight for our God-given rights instead of the three assholes who went up there to the DNC and did their little spiel about, oh my God. You know what? Here's the funny thing. Guns don't create violence. It's the people behind them. And these idiots don't understand that. Blah, 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 blah. Guns, guns, guns. Goins added that unequivocal declarations by the General Assembly left no authority for Memphis officials to propose such amendments to the city's charter. Goins also raised concerns that the city had not properly followed the public notice and procedures. In a statement, the Shelby County Administrator of Elections, Linda Phillips, said the state elections coordinator guides and the commission is running elections and we will follow his direction. Okay, so uh, what did they try to do? Earlier this year, the Memphis City Council approved a proposal to ask voters if they want to tweak the city charter to require permits to carry a handgun, ban the possession of AR-15 rifles, and then implement the so-called red flag ordinance. All right, let me tell you about something. Hell no. How You cannot ban it. So uh, say, for instance, I live in a city. Well, I have a couple AR-15s, so all of a sudden ban the possession of an AR-15 rifle in the confines of that city? You cannot overstep the boundaries of our constitutional rights. The red flag law. I'll tell you a good story right now. I got a friend of mine who his wife went ape shit and put out a protection order on him for basically nothing. Well, the sheriff deputy showed up at his door wanting to collect all his firearms. This shit happens. All you got to do is have a girlfriend or somebody who really gets pissed off at you. I don't like this person. Watch what I'm getting ready to do to you. It's vindictive, it's evil, and it's not right. So-called red flag law ordinance, which allows law enforcement officials to remove firearms from those found to be in imminent danger to themselves or others. Or somebody gets pissed off at you and they can have your guns confiscated. It's, it, it, it empowers weak people who use these laws against you as a human being. The council all had acknowledged at times they were potentially risking the ire of the Republican dominant legislature since uh, the measures likely conflict with Tennessee's lax gun laws. Who determined that these gun laws were lax? Well, the Associated Press. Who wrote this damn article? Hold on one second. This is Kimberly Cousy and Adrian Sains. All right, whatever. I, I bet you that I know who they vote for. If the General Assembly wants to punish us and punish our citizens for asking for their help, we will deal with it accordingly. But the, that would be absolutely heartbreaking. Councilman Chase Char Carlisle <laughs> said during a council meeting in 2023, uh, yeah, Chase, okay, in 2021, Republican lawmakers, GOP Governor Bill Lee signed off on a permitless carry for handguns. Okay, so here's an, an armed society is a polite society. Basically, what you're doing is you're giving the right of the people to defend themselves because criminals don't give a shit what the laws are. And basically, if you have a hair on your chinny chin chin, you don't either. Meanwhile, many of the inside same Republican supermajority have rebuffed calls to place limits on firearms, an effort that has only increased after a yada yada uh, transgendered individual who was sick in the head killed three adults and three nine children. Yeah, you heard me. That person was sick in the head and they yet they will not reveal what was wrong with that person. Continued push to put gun control questions before Memphis voters prompted not only the state's top Republican lawmakers to threaten with withhold funding, but also led Secretary of State Trey Hargett to warn that his office would not approve Memphis ballot if it was included with gun initiatives. <laughs> all right, so this is the statement at this end, and this is just tells it all. Guns 
pose a different risk for residents of Memphis than they do for some other municipalities. Guns don't pose a threat. It's not the gun. It's the person behind the gun. Another friend of mine, my brother, had a friend who was shot while driving down the damn interstate because of road rage. We understand that we need to work with our state to determine a set of tools to restore peace in our community. I know what will restore peace in your community. Fucking put people in jail. Assholes behind the gun. Mayor Paul Young in a statement responding to the legislature, what happens next is up to the voters and the legislative branches. All right, you know what? I'm going to end it right there. But the whole thing, I'm not worried about crime report. I'm not even there. What I'm, what I'm proposing is don't blame the gun because the gun didn't do shit. Somebody pulled that trigger. Somebody has a gun that probably is going to cause harm, and we know who that is. It's the gangbangers. It's the people who are out there who are just whatever. I'm not going to get into it. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think down below. Should uh, I'm, I'm glad that GOP guys set up and they had the nuts and the intestinal fortitude to oppose this BS that was proposed by these assholes, the three people who want to do uh, harm to our constitutional rights. KB32, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. <laughs> I'm talking so much. God bless America. God bless uh, God. God oh, geez, Louise. Too much coffee this morning, gentlemen, ladies. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is not free. Man, I can't wait. I got these new builds and a new concept that I'm thinking about using in the competition. We'll see. It's KB32. I'm out of here. Cheers.